I think it was too. It was one of the most beautiful. Why is it every time I hear the Eroica Symphony, I think it's the Erotica? <laughs> Fertile imagination, I guess. Either that or it's the conductor. He was very macho this evening. You should have seen him. I had my eyes closed. <laughs> so you sure you don't want me to walk you home? No, no, I'm fine. I'll make it, really. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Be careful. You too. <laughs> tonight? Only 30 feet this time. Ah, oh, the wind's blowing in the wrong direction. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, you've cut down on the butter. Oh, no. <laughs> Telling you. With the right wind, you can smell these babies 100 feet away. Under perfect conditions, 60 feet at the most. Oh, Alex, you are a tough customer. <laughs> Two croissants and you change. Take right. care now, okay? Okay, Randy. Night-night. Good night.
Excuse me, may I help you? No, thank you. Well, it's all right. Just hold on to me. No, thank you. I can make it. Excuse me for offering. Dear, don't take it personally. pleasant this morning. Tell me something. Why does everyone always assume I'm helpless? What are you talking about? They insist on taking me by the arm, leading me by the hand, nudging me across the street. When I say I don't need any help, they act insulted. You're not like that. Honey, I've worked with you for three years. I know how nasty you can get. Morning, Robin. Morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you tell me where I can find uh, Mr. Krieger? He's in San Francisco today. What? No, no, we, we, had, we had an appointment. Uh, maybe his secretary has a message for you? <sighs> well, where is she? She just left for lunch. Oh, Sorry. no. This doesn't seem to be your day. No, 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 it doesn't. Uh, well, I've got about an hour to kill. Uh, where can I grab a sandwich around here? Outside and to the left. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I see a hole on the sculpture. Each sculptor emphasizes the part that is important to him or her. <laughs> different pieces are made with different materials for a reason. I have my hands on this. Can women do it? Sure. Can blind people do it? Absolutely. People who do sculpture are trying to say something to us through touch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did you feel her nose? No. All right. Oh, there you are. Here's so many. Wait. <laughs> there, there. Yeah. There's her nose. She's got a little tiny nose and a great big body. Oh, and I'll give you a kiss. She's a two-headed woman. No, that's yeah, her. Wait a minute. What are you feeling? Let me see. Uh -huh. Oh, that's her knee. That's her knee, knee over here. Okay. Where, where are you? Huh? Oh, she's naked. <laughs> She is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found out. Hi, here. <gasps> where? I feel like oh. I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where you get spanked sometimes. Yeah. Oh, no, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Okay. Now the bus is waiting, so let's say goodbye to Miss McCabe. Thank you, Miss McCabe. Miss McCabe. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye, Sammy. Bye-bye. That's, that's a tough one, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> How do you describe to a bunch of blind kids something that's indescribable even to us? Oh, it's not so tough. Well, I am sorry. What for? I particularly like the way he's treated the belly button. I can't see that. <laughs> Good. Neither can I. <sighs> I. I thought you were serious for a second. I'm always serious. Excuse me. I have to get back to work. <sighs> sure thing. Uh, well, uh, have a good day. Ooh. Have a nice day? <laughs> I always have a nice day.
stand it. Ten percent chance of rain and it all fell on me. Oh, anything broken? You see this thing? It's terrific for tapping its way from here to Duluth. But let me know there's a curb to step down, or it's filled with six inches of water. No way. Should have taken a cab. A cab on a rainy day? I keep telling you, get a dog. A dog? What I need is a duck. A seeing-eyed duck. Excuse me, may I help you? Oh, my, you're all wet. So people have told me. Is she blind? Yes, she is. <laughs> well, then you wouldn't know that I would. The location of the new pewter exhibit? Second floor, right staircase, turn to your left. Oh. Well, that's just wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. There will be a film on the pewter of Colonial America starting in 15 minutes in the Remington Auditorium. Hiya. I, uh, I came here for a meeting and I just noticed you sitting at the desk. Do you remember me? Belly button. How did you know? Voice. Oh, uh, oh. I'm sorry. Did, did you say right stairway turn left or left stairway turn right? Right stairway turn left. Uh, thank you. <coughs> Are you still there? Yeah, I, uh... It's a little difficult, but I, I don't even know your name. Alexandra. Alex. Oh, Alex. Well, Thanks. look, Alexandra, uh, I... I, I... I'm so sorry. But do you have an elevator? Down the hall to your right. Thank you. She's blind, you know. Uh, uh, well, anyway, um, since, since I am here, um, I thought that perhaps um, I could take you out for a couple of drinks. Uh, if you don't drink, I mean, I, I, I'd love to have dinner. But what about lunch? I mean, lunch would be fine with me if it's okay with you. I, mean, I, I appreciate the invitation, but... No, no, I, I mean, in a very public place with a lot of people around. I mean, you, you don't have to worry about anything. Thank you, but no. Oh, well, come on, Alex. What harm's a little lunch? Robin. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What harm's a little lunch, Alex? I, I, I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you give it some very careful thought for a couple of days, and if you really want to have lunch with me Monday, I'll be waiting for you here at noon. That's great. You got a date. Um, thank you. You're welcome. It's, um, 12 o'clock Friday. I mean, not 12 o'clock Monday, huh? Oh, I, I don't know your name. Um, Richard Chapman. Well, well, well. This could be a big mistake. Not with your shoulders. Oh, my God. My hair. Sounds like a hot date, Alex. Can I be excused? No. What are you going to wear? Something soft and frilly. I mean, men love soft and frilly. They must love your brain. Bruce, behave yourself. It's just a lunch, nothing special. Well, hey, if you're going with that attitude. You may both be excused. Yeah. Homework, both of you, run along. Be sure he pays for lunch before you give him the heave ho. <laughs> I'll be sure to say a prayer for you. Oh, dear, am I in that much trouble? <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Thank you, Leslie. My pleasure. You don't sound very excited. I've been there before, brother dear. The noble experiment. Pretty soon the noble spirit wears off and I can become a very inconvenient date. It's not worth the effort, thank you. Well, let me uh, help you with the dishes, Leslie, and then I really have to get back. No, you sit and relax. I'll do the dishes. You afraid I'll break them? Are you kidding? We're keeping track. 43 so far. Oh, well, then let's try for 44. <laughs> Home by midnight. Dad, it's the junior prom. It is the junior prom. One o'clock. 12.30. Good night. I'll have Rome early. Drive carefully. See about one. Have fun. Both hands on the wheel, Peter. Right. They're such a sweet couple. What does he look like? Oh, he's very handsome. He bathed in zit cream. Curly hair making me nervous. 
And Megan? Oh, you wouldn't believe how grown up she looked. She looked like a little girl playing dress up. You never wore dresses like that when you were her age. Well, I certainly have a clear picture now, don't I? I bet you don't even remember what dresses I wore. I remember exactly the first dress you ever wore on a date. It was uh, uh, white. It had a uh, kind of a thing around the wrist and a, and a, and a scarf. And you had a, uh, an orchid corsage. No. It was a gardenia. I remember. How do I look? Compared to what? Robin, you look terrific. You always look terrific. Drives me crazy. Yeah, I knew there was something responsible. It's after 12. He's not coming. What are you talking about? It's one minute after 12. What did I tell you? Hiya. Are you ready? Oh, I love that smell. What's that? Pavement being washed down. Smell that? Yeah, it does smell good. You know, I never really even thought about it before. <laughs> By the way, they have some wonderful salads here. You should try one. Oh. So, I, I opened up the shop about five years ago, and, um, you know, I have uh, limited, limited edition lithographs and numbered prints, museum cards. Hi, that's wonderful. It takes a lot of courage to quit a job you've had for 15 years. I mean, the security and... <laughs> the dullness. No, no, I mean, to start all over again. That's a very brave thing to do. Well, my, uh, my wife didn't think so. No, that's why she's my ex-wife. No, I still get terrified, though, you know. I wake up in the morning, I'm going to conquer the world, and after two or three canceled appointments and five or six turndowns, and some plastic lunches with some polyester bars, you know, I lose my patience my temper, and, uh, I don't know, I feel like I want to just slink home and bury my head under the pillow. There's nothing brave about that. Are you brave all the time? All the time. Come on. No, absolutely. I was born brave. Well, ha have you been blind since birth? No, I had to learn that. It's been an accident? I only had those after I was blind. Well, how old were you? Old enough to know better. Look, I, I, I'm simply trying to talk to well, you. Well, if you want to talk to me, talk to me. If you want clinical information, go ask your doctor. Well, being blind is part of you. I mean, I just would like to know. Guess what? I have a lot more parts to me, some of them quite interesting. You should see me in a bathing suit, I think. I'm sorry, I didn't mean no, to offend No, 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 it's you. okay. Never mind, it's all right. I, I have to get back to work. No, I'll take you back. No, never mind. I will take you back. Waiter. I can oh, find yes. my way. Radar, you know. Oops. Sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, I never could parallel park. Alex. you. 
What do you want? Sam, get away from there. I never did get along too well with dogs. They always sneak up on you when you least expect it. Last night I stepped on his tail. He got over it. Then I knocked over the hall lamp. And then this morning, Megan had to help me get dressed. I messed up my closet. Hey, everything's going to be fine. Sure. Who is it? It's just me. Bruce. What are you doing up? Did the wind scare you? No, I'm just hungry. Again? What'd you get this time? Piece of pie. You want to share? I better not. If my mom catches me, she'll kill me. Okay. Night. How about some more coffee? No, thanks. Alex, I've been doing some more reading. Dinner was wonderful. I said I've been doing some more reading lately. Oh, please. Mitchell, give me a break. You promised you wouldn't bring that up again. Maybe I lied. And you wonder why I don't come here more often. It's just that I love you, and I can't stand to see you waste your life. Wait a minute. I may be blind, but... I certainly don't consider my life a waste. All right, I'm sorry. Of course your life isn't a waste. It's just that there are successful operations performed every day. I am not going to start chasing rainbows. Father wasted his life. He, he went from surgeon to surgeon desperately. It was a long time ago. And he ended up with an empty life and an empty socket. He went crazy in that dark room of his. He wasn't crazy. He was a fighter. And he lost. Congenital cataracts don't kill you, Mitchell. What killed him was hoping for miracles. I'm doing the best I can with my life. 
I've kept my sanity, and I'm not going to run the risk of losing that. Whose play is it? Yours, my darling. <laughs> Sorry. You get distracted. As many times as we played with these braille cards, there still seems to be something fatally illegal about them. There. Oh, 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 no, it's mine, darling. Well, I just wanted to see oh, it okay. was. Bruce, why are you sneaking around like that? Sneaking? Who's sneaking? How'd you know it was me? I'm psychic. What do you got back there, Bruce? Donuts. Yo. Can't you just say hello? Alex, it's for you. A female. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Hi. I get Robin. Who? He was? No, you did the right thing. I don't want him to have this number. Well, just tell him I didn't want you to give it out. Okay, yeah. Well, maybe in a couple weeks. I miss you, too. Okay. Bye. Hey, Sam. But you at least reconsider. What are these? Impatience. That's appropriate. Is this the ivy? Yep, English ivy. Les wants to put some cuttings down by the wall, but there just hasn't been time. Oh, she'll get around to it. What's over by the house? Those three azalea I told you about. Remember? Yeah. We got them last fall. We got a special deal. There's a step there. Another step. Well, they came into bloom. They're all covered with pretty white flowers. Like nesting doves. Mitchell, you're such a poet. I got a lot of practice figuring out how to describe the same tree ten different ways so you'd always have a fresh picture. <laughs> Another step down. The daisies are out in the corner. Yellow, white, the snapdragons. Snapdragons. I love that word. Snapdragon. Alex, I'm sorry. I've got to ask you again. Please don't go back Mitchell. to your apartment. Why go back to the city? There's nobody there. I have friends. Who, Robin? That's all. There isn't anybody else. You don't let anybody else get close to you. I've made my choices, Mitchell. You know, sometimes I think all you've got in your life is that damn cane of yours. Does it, does it, does it ever talk to you? Does it ever laugh with you? Does it, does it take you out to dinner? Does it hold you when you need it? You're so damned independent? Look, at least here with us, you're safe. There isn't a moment in my life when I feel totally safe. Here or any place else. Have you ever thought what it would be like to be completely vulnerable to everybody and everything? Mitchell, how, how can you expect me to take any more chances than I do in my life every day just to survive? Someday I hope you have to let somebody get near you.
Lindsay, please. Well? I got lucky. There was a cancellation in the very next class. I'm in. I'm accepted. Oh, that's great. Let's go home and tell the family. Cat, you have any champagne? Of course. <gasps> Come on. There's a curb right here. Now, okay. careful, darling. Alex has something to tell you. Oh? Oh. Um, you know how, how you're always telling me that I don't trust anyone, that I'll never let anyone near me? Well, I may have overstated the case. No, no, no. No, I think you're absolutely right. Now, I've thought about it, and I've taken your advice. I'm going to enter into a relationship. Sounds divine. What's his name? I don't know. I haven't met him yet. A blind date? <laughs> yes, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Let's talk about this over coffee. Coffee? What about the champagne? Champagne? I, I thought you said you hadn't even met him yet. Oh, Mitchell. Let me give you a hint. <laughs> No? Oh, Mitchell, for heaven's sake. <laughs> guys in four weeks if I don't get kicked out first. Oh, don't worry. You'll do fine. I sure hope so. <laughs> well, dog will probably be smarter than me to start with. I'll, I'll flunk out and he'll give him to somebody else. Your suitcase is right behind you. Okay. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi, Alex. Welcome to International Guiding Eyes. I'm Gary. I'll be working with oh. you and the students. Hi. Can Gary. I show you to your room? Yeah, please. Great. You won't have to be using that cane pretty soon. <laughs> I hope not. Hey, what do you have in here, bricks? Dogs are used to working with experienced sighted trainers. That is why we're first going to practice on Fred. Uh, Michael, you want to start it out? Not really. Okay, fine. Um, Alex, how about you? Yeah, I guess so. Great. Fred? All right, now always remember the dog walks on your left side. All right. Using your left hand, hold the harness. Good. Now relax your grip. Now taking the leash, place it between your first two fingers, keeping your grip relaxed. All right. Now drop your hand behind your, by your side. Okay. Good. Perfect. Now I know this procedure might seem a little strange, but you're going to be getting a fully trained dog. Try to give the impression that you're a fully trained human. <laughs> All right. Now let's pretend we're telling Fred to go forward. All right. Now slide your right foot back. Oops, I think you just stepped on his tail. Oh, I'm sorry, okay, Fred. Okay, that's fine. Oh, dear. All right. <laughs> now always indicate with your right arm which direction you want the dog to go. All right, using your right arm, yeah. dog's name first, Fred forward. Okay, now you try. Fred forward. No, I think that's a little too high. Fred's thoroughly confused. Uh, try uh -huh, it again. Oh, me too. Okay. okay. Fred forward. Better, but still too high. Fred, forward. Fred, forward. Good, better. Ooh. There you go, see? Uh, Works yeah. every time. <laughs> you don't seem very happy about getting a dog. This is my second. I had more since I was 16. We went to NYU together. About a year ago, he got arthritis. Yeah. I'm sweet. Oh, Michael, I'm so sorry. 
But, you know, I, I think... I think Mort would be pleased that you were getting a dog. I mean, he wouldn't want you to be alone. <laughs> You're probably right. It's the way he was. He's my best friend. I don't know if I'm ready to go through this again. Look, I, um, I'm, I'm kind of scared myself. Maybe we can help each other. She? She's a yellow Labrador. They're one of the best breeds for guide dogs. They're very intelligent, hardworking, devoted. Oh, uh, and she fetches. Go ahead, throw it. <laughs> Does she do windows? <laughs> Only on Saturdays. Good girl. Hey, good girl. Emma, good girl. <laughs> Never keep up with her. Emma will average about four miles an hour. Most sighted people manage two to three miles an hour. Ooh. Lesson number one, don't go without your dog. When she stops, you stop. She didn't tell me she was going to stop. Feel for the curb with your left foot. Good. Emma, forward. Emma, forward. What's the matter? That was a kid on a bike. You're a team, Alex. When you're crossing a street, it's your job to listen and Emma's job to look. Okay. Okay, try it again. Good girl. Emma. Emma, forward. Oh. They like the sound of your voice, Alex. So whenever you're walking, uh, talk to them. Tell them jokes. Oh, dear. What's the matter? I can never remember a punchline. <laughs> Alex? Alex, you have a visitor. Oh! Come on, Emma. It's me, Richard. How did you know where to find me? No, not, no, not everybody in your family is as pig-headed as you are, you know. You know. Who's your friend? Emma? Say hello to a weirdo. If he likes blind ladies, he must be crazy about guide dogs. You know, you work for one tough lady, Emma, but she's not as tough as she wants us to believe, even though she doesn't like talking about herself. <sighs> Here goes again. How would you like to try something dangerous? Like dinner. I'll be here another week and a half, and then I'll be at work. You can call me then. And you'll answer? 
Are, are those roses for me? Okay, everyone, let's get your dogs under your seats, safely away from the drunks and the muggers. I see two big yellow paws sticking out in the middle of the aisle. You're a team, Alex. Emma will take care of you the best she can, but if you don't learn to do the same, she'll be the one that suffers, not you. Well, just don't take it personally. He got on Riley's my case yesterday. Right, Riley? Okay, people, hold on. Let's go downtown. kiddo. Emma, forward. Good girl. What about the one, uh, let's see, about the priest and the rabbi on a golf course? Well, tomorrow's the big day. You're not as nervous as I am, huh? Well, we gotta get our beauty sleep. Bet you don't need it, though, do you, girl? Oh, no. It's taking forever to get used to turning the lights on. dreams. Get the others ready, and I'll meet you back at the finish line. Have fun. Have fun, he said. Okay, forward, Emma. Steady, girl. Steady, Emma. Steady, good girl. Thinks he's so cute and can't make it on our own. Well, we'll show him, won't we? I never did like tests, even in grade school. Taxi! Taxi! I used to cross my fingers all the time, the whole way through. It wasn't easy to write that way. I thought it would keep me lucky. <laughs> Just made the kids think I was a little weird, that's all. Hey, watch it. Oh, yikes, what was that? Emma. Oh, Emma, slow down. This is not the 100-yard dash. It's more like a marathon. Emma. Oh, what's where are you going? Did oh. he wander onto a football field?
Did you ever hear the one about the four turtles and the one bottle of beer? Oh, boy, that's really a good one. Traffic lights. Let's see. Uh, okay. Did, did you hear the one about the elephant and the mouse? Emma, I have an idea. How about a nice, quiet little place in the country? I don't know about you, but my feet are killing me. You're just getting lazy. Emma, forward, Emma. <laughs> Emma, I'm sorry. You did your job. I just didn't do mine. I'll never doubt you again, okay? Good girl. Thank you. Oh, I hope this is pretty. Robin said it was. How's it look? Now, now, Emma, I'm not going. I'm not going to be late. And, and if I am, I'll call. And there's some cold pizza in the fridge if you're hungry. Oh, Emma, what if we're both dogs? Okay. I'm a little nervous. Ah, come on, they're just people like you and me. Well, I haven't said much to people for a while except right, left, and take the stairs. Have I told you how beautiful you look? Three times. But what the hell, make it, make it four. You look beautiful. Is this thing safe? Well, sure. It was overhauled in 1910. 1910? <laughs> That's comforting. You've got to come here and look at this. The is extraordinary. Yeah, but tell me what it is first. I don't like surprises. You have a choice of that. Anchovy or caviar? Anchovy. You my guess. Uh-huh. Give him a mic going? Watch some. Well. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> just a lovely evening. Mm. This isn't white wine, it's rosé. <laughs> There's something I haven't told you. What? I'm in the art business, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm colored wine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to trade? Absolutely. I'm starving. Come on, Anchovy. Well, dinner's just around the corner. Look, look, come on, I want you to meet someone. Hi, this is a friend of mine, Alex McCabe. Alex is our host, and this is Carlisle. Richard, darling, since when do I go around calling you Mr. Chapman? 
Just call me Paula. I'm very glad to meet you, Alex. And welcome to the Gourmet Gossip Hour. Well, the food is wonderful, but I haven't tasted the gossip yet. Oh, you will, my dear. It wafts like bad cigar smoke throughout any gathering in the art world. As a matter of fact, Alex works the museum. Really? And where are you in the hierarchy there? Up front. Well, I work at the information counter. I do tours for blind children. I try to make the sculpture garden more comprehensible to them. Could you do that for me? <laughs> I heard a couple of critics carrying notes. What is the science? I am learning some more. heightened sense of hearing, right? Right. My senses are terribly acute, smell especially. You're so fortunate to have that as a life experience. Yes, you must try it sometime. I imagine you have a deep feeling for music, too. Do you play a, the piano or violin? Accordion. But I left it at home today. I may pass my tin cup later anyway, though there's so many sensitive people here. Or, uh... <laughs> well, did I ruin your reputation? No, 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 no. As a matter of fact, you, you sure made one for yourself, though. Uh-oh. <laughs> Emma! Hello. Hi! Hi, girl. <laughs> you know, there's something I, I wanted to do all night. What's that? Uh, wait. A little to the left, please. <laughs> now. Richard? 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 Good morning. Oh, <laughs> you, you scared me. I, I thought... No, 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 no. I... I thought you were sleeping, and I wanted to listen to some music, so I put the headphones on. Oh, that's fine, fine. I, I, I just didn't know whether or not you slept. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, uh, you must be hungry. I'll fix some breakfast. Only to let me help, huh? Uh-uh. This one's on me. I want to impress you. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> it smells great. And now the specialty of the house. Scrambled eggs McCabe. Um, is um is Emma allowed to eat uh, from the table? No, no. Mmm, great. This is nuts. <laughs> I am tired of concerts, quiet dinners, and watch your step walks. If this is what you like to do, I'm going to do it. Look, Alex, there are a lot of other things I like to do. I mean, I, I, I do swim, you know. I mean, I listen to music. I mean, if you want the feel of the wind through your hair, then let's jog. <laughs> I mean, horseback riding. You scared? Yeah, very. But, you know, it can be dangerous. With you by my side, what could possibly go wrong? Alex. Richard. I need to do this. Okay, you win. 
But nice and easy, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Emma, now you be a good girl, okay? Okay, when you mount up, I'll tell you just what to do, and then when we're ready to go, just keep talking to each other. You'll know exactly where I am. Okay. Okay? Huh? Yeah. Hi. Hiya. This is Candy, and this is Stewball. Uh, whose dog? Mine. Uh, you watch that dog around the horses, ma'am. She loves horses. Okay, I'll take it. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna launch you up, though. Okay, come over here now. Hand on the pommel. I'm gonna take your left foot and put it right in the stirrup. And up and over. All right. Okay, now hear the reins. Now through the finger and through the thumb. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, hold on now. Remember what we talked about last night now? Huh? Okay, when you want her to go, just nudge a little with your heels. <laughs> come with him on up. Okay. And Candy's gonna follow us. You sure about that? Positive. Come on. Come on. Nudge it. Just nudge a little. That's it. You look terrific. You don't look so bad yourself, Hotshot. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> Not so bad, is it? No. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> you're looking, you're gonna like it, aren't you? Huh? Uh, well, you were the one that was scared. Oh, come on. Do it, come on. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I knew we shouldn't have done that. I <sighs> just knew it. I knew it. You could have killed yourself. Well, I didn't. And besides, it was fun. Will you oh. two stop picking on me? You should have seen her chasing after you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been three weeks of wonderful, scary, and confusing. That sounds like all the symptoms. I guess I have been alone too long. I don't know what to expect exactly. Just don't expect perfection in him or you. I keep wondering how far this relationship is going to go. I mean, how long is it going to last? Why don't you just take it one day at a time? <laughs> Easier said than done. Mitchell, I've never asked you this before, but I, well, I, I really am curious. How have you and Leslie managed to stay together? Talking. Lots of talking. About everything. Kids, money stuff. Worries? How you really feel about each other? Whatever you're most afraid to say? I guess that's probably the hardest. Yeah. I'm beginning to find that out. Eggs and bacon or buttermilk banana pancakes? Uh, coffee and oranges would be fine, honey. I make super buttermilk banana pancakes. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough time, Allie. You don't have to be at the office until 9.30. You have over an hour. Alex, I'm, um, I'm taking an early flight. Uh, going on a three-day trip. Three days? I, um... 
wanted to tell you about it last night. You're catching a plane in an hour. You wanted to tell me about it last night. How, how long have you known about this? A couple of weeks. Look, every year there's an art show in Chicago that I have to attend. You understand that? Yes, I understand that. But why did you wait till the last minute to tell me? I thought maybe you'd, you might want to come. I see. No, 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 you don't see. It's just that, the, look, for three days, all I'm going to be doing, Alex, is looking at works of art and lithographs and... I mean, what would you do with yourself all that time? You don't have to explain. No, yes, I do. You don't know your way around Chicago. I mean, while I'm talking art all day, I, I don't want you sitting around in a hotel room just, just twiddling your thumbs. Couldn't you have told me earlier? No, I couldn't. Look, Alex, I, I, I feel guilty enough about Why this. Why should you feel guilty? You're absolutely right. There are lots of things you and I will never be able to do together. Alex, Your that... coffee's ready. Now, if I didn't know better, I'd say you were depressed. But I know better. Don't I? Emma, tell Robin to mind her own business. Sunshine by tomorrow afternoon. That's right, sunshine. There's nobody home. Alex, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's ever wrong with me. Look, I'm sorry about not telling you when I was coming back. It was stupid of me. I just want to be alone. You've been alone now for, for damn near 20 years. Maybe that's the way I want it. Alex, I came home a day earlier just to be with you. I mean, I, I, I wanted to surprise you. Alex? Alex? If you want to reach me, you know where to call me. Thank you. 
Mitchell, I don't want to talk about this now. Why? I'm busy. Okay. Uh, maybe another time, huh? Bye. Bye. that busy. Steady, Emma. Steady. <laughs> Hi. I, uh, I know you said I could call you, and that just seemed a, a little bit too easy. So, uh, here I am. I, I wanted to say I'm sorry. I behaved very badly and I had no excuse and I'm... I'm really sorry. Well, I'm very glad you came. So am I. I have a surprise for you. Yes, they're here. Dr. Harkin will see you now. Go right on in. Well, hello, Alex. Now, there are two conditions that are essential to make this operation a success. That the brain received enough visual stimulation when you were young so that it can now interpret a visual message. In other words, the brain must have at one time learned how to see. Also, the back of the eye must be normal and healthy. Now, if the tests establish these things, then you're a candidate for a successful operation. And if the results are positive, you can think about it, talk it over, come back, and I'll tell you what the next step would be. Well, it's taken me a long time to get to this step. I understand your fears, Alex. <laughs> Raise magnification. Alex, I want you to look to the left. Very good. Now look to the right. Go ahead. Night. 
Have a nice evening, Julie. Well, Alex, there's no retinal detachment. Appears you're an excellent candidate for the surgery. What's involved exactly, doctor? Well, we use a surgical method called irrigation aspiration. We'll enter the eye with a small probe. Now, through one hole in the probe, fluid will enter the eye, and through another hole in the probe, we'll draw out the fluid in the cataract. Well, what about complications? My father lost his eye, and well, it looked so terrible. All surgery, Alex, carries some risk. Now, with eye surgery, there's also some possibility of retinal detachment, inflammation with the eye. But, Alex, the chances of these things happening are extremely small. Well, how much vision can she expect? Well, immediately, she should be able to get around without much assistance. I mean, certainly well enough to let Emma get lazy. Now, we'll let one eye heal completely before we give you your contact lens. That should take a couple of months. And only then will we do the surgery on the other eye. <laughs> well, let's do it. <laughs> well, our biggest problem is finding you a bed. So go home, try to relax, and I'll call you the minute I know when I can get you in. Hello? Mitchell? We're on. It's a go? It's a go. It's a go? It's a go? <laughs> it's a go! It's a go! I don't remember hearing this song at the last dance I went to. Oh, I wanted to go so bad. Mitchell came down from college to take me. We made jokes about him having a blind date with his sister. <laughs> all, all that last year, I knew I had to uh, store things away. My own little museum, I guess. Textures and shapes. So, so that they wouldn't escape. But some of them did. Uh, well, except in my dreams. I sleep pretty well in my dreams. It uh, makes waking up a little hard sometimes, though. Richard? I haven't seen myself in a mirror since I was 16 years old. What if I don't recognize myself? I mean, what if I don't recognize anything? No, it, it won't be that way, Alex. This is a mistake. Alex, you're going to see. No, I, I've taken enough chances in my life. Oh, have you? Yes. Well, it may, it may not be the way you want it, but I'm, I'm comfortable with, with my life the way it is. Absolutely. Comfortable. That's right. I mean, you've got everything compartmentalized, haven't you? I mean, you know exactly how many steps it takes to go to the office, uh, how many steps to the kitchen, to the wall. I mean, you've got everything tucked away nice and neat, haven't you? Look, I, I don't even know why I'm doing this anymore. It feels like I'm doing it more for you than for me. How about for us? How about us? I mean, what happens to the us if this thing doesn't work? I, I mean, are you going to grin and bear it and stay with a sinking ship? You're a nice guy, Richard. But you're not signing up for 40 years of martyrdom, are you? Are you? Be honest. I, I don't know. Look, I, I don't know what I'm capable of, Alex. I don't think any of us do, unless we're put to the test. I mean, any, any kind of test. Then I guess we find out who we are, or what we're made of, or um, what really counts to us. All I can tell you is that I never even noticed the, the smell of of a sidewalk being hosed down before I met you, Alex. Who 
Look, sure, it'd be a lot easier if you were sighted instead of being blind. I mean, sure, it would be, be more fun, it'd be more convenient, but that is not what counts to me anymore. Alex, if you want to cancel this operation, now you cancel it. But you better have a damn good reason. And I mean of your own. Because I want you to expect the best of me, not the worst. And I'm going to expect the best of you, even if it scares the hell out of you. Nobody ever told me. Nobody ever told me. That it hurts so much to love somebody. If Dr. Harkman is right, and I can see a little bit tomorrow, how will I recognize you? I'll be the guy wearing the pink carnation. And that's all? I'll be sure and recognize you. They're ready for you in surgery. Here's your party hat. very well. The bandages come off tomorrow. What time tomorrow? Well, we don't know as yet. But you just, you just get a good night's rest, okay? Yeah. We'll be here first thing in the morning. For Pete's sake, Megan. I've got to look good for Alex, don't I? It's hopeless, Megan. Megan, we're leaving. Why do we have to get all dressed up if we're just going to sit here? Try to be patient. Why can't we go in when they take the bandages off? Because. Oh, well, what if we were all standing around? The what? And he took off the bandages and she was still blind. Any pain? None. Good. Now let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Richard? I'm right here, darling. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the bandage off. It's going to tug a little. 
And when you open your eyes, the light's going to be very bright since we've taken your lens out. You're not going to be able yeah, to see well, anything. Okay, but just tell me everything you're going to do, okay? Okay. I'm examining the eye. <gasps> oh, yeah. this bright. Oh, relax. Looks perfect. <gasps> now, I have a lens. I'm going to put up to your eye to give you some idea of what you'll eventually see. <gasps> Something, um, green. <laughs> it's my uniform. Anything else? Um, um. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, uh, where's Richard? Oh, my God. You're beautiful. To see all of us. Oh, hey, you guys. Come here, let me look at you. Oh, my gosh, Bruce, you handsome devil. I'm not usually all this dressed up. Yeah, I know. And Megan, are you lovely? I've missed your whole childhood. You didn't miss anything. I used to be a fatty. Leslie, I haven't seen you since your first date with Mitchell. I'm not a college girl anymore. Well, you look beautiful to me. Can I see that? Oh, this? Yeah. Yeah, well, okay, but you be careful, all right? Hey, guess who just flew in? I'm sorry, I'm late. My car... Give her the lens so she can see. You can see? <laughs> no, I... Uh, uh, wait a second. Remember when I told you I was luscious? Well, I exaggerate sometimes. Oh, no, you don't, kiddo. <laughs> You're a knockout. <laughs> oh, I always thought that was blue. That's uh, for me. Oh. <laughs> and uh, these are for Emma. Oh. Uh, dogwood, I presume. <laughs> That's our dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, now, you were going to get a little rest, young lady. I feel fine, Richard. Really, I do. Yeah, okay. Here. I'm going to pick up Emmett Robbins, then I'm going to come back, and then I will fix us a little lunch. How's that? Okay. Okay? Mm hmm I'll see you soon. Okay.
Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the little baby. Oh, Emma, you are beautiful. Well, look at you. Oh, you're so pretty. Let me see. Oh, you've got the most beautiful brown eyes. Oh, my gosh. I didn't look want her to you. wake you, but she missed you. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, boy. Well, now you're stuck with two blondes. Yeah, you make a great couple. <laughs> Lunch is served, madame. Emma, you get down from there at once. Shame on you. Shame on you. You know you're not supposed to do that. What's been going on here? Oh, Em, did I hurt your feelings? Oh, Emma, I still love you, Em. Huh? Hey, Emma, it's me. It's me behind these glasses. You know, don't you? You know I can see you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Oh, I still love you, Em. There he goes. Come on, Emma. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's go. There you go. Uh, well, no. No, not really. Mm. Well. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Come here. <gasps> oh, <laughs> into a very crowded department store. And her guide dog was leading the way, see? And, and um, well, they headed to this counter that was full of piles of sweaters that, that were on sale. And, and as soon as they got there, she let her guide dog go and jumped up on the counter and started, oh, pawing his way through all those sweaters. They were going every which way. And all of a sudden, salesman came up. He was very annoyed. And he said in the most condescending tone, may I help you? Well, she turned around and said to him, no, thank you. We're 
were just looking. Well, <clears throat> at least I remembered the punchline. Emma, you've changed my life. I learned to trust because of you. To know how it feels to be safe. You let me share my fears with you. And love. Oh, how you taught me love. I'll never forget you, Emma. Never. But I'll love you always. Someone else needs you. Listen to me. Someone else needs you. You gotta understand. And you gotta be on your good behavior. And leave no more pauses on the table and no more jumping up on the bed, okay? Okay? Okay, go on. Go on. Okay.